Hello everybody, welcome to another CSGO editing tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a cool Dynamosh transition using Dynamosh Studio. For those who are wondering, I have actually made a Dynamosh video already, but that method was using AVID Mux. In this one, we're going to be using Dynamosh Studio. And on the screen now, I will show you an example of what it's going to look like. In my opinion, AVID Mux actually looks a bit better but that just might be my um, crappy clips. So first up, to create this uh, transition or effects, we first of all need to download Dynamo Studio. So head over to the Dynamo Studio site, scroll down until you find the download link right here. It says click here. And once you have that, you get a zip folder like this. Just right click and extract it to somewhere easy. I'm just gonna use my desktop because it's easy to access. Once we have that done, what we need to do is actually get two clips we're gonna Dynamo together. So here are my two clips here. Uh, these are just you know, random clips I have on my computer. And so open up the Datamosh Studio folder and start Datamosh Studio like that. So you get this window pop up. Click create a new project. And then go ahead and create a folder uh, that's, that will save the project to. I'm just gonna create it on my desktop and make a new folder and call it test like so. Then this uh, format window will pop up. Just go ahead and set the width and height of your video. So mine's 1920 by 1080, so I'm gonna put that there. And the frame rate was 30 FPS, because I have 30 FPS clips. And I leave everything else default. Once you have that done, just press save, and it will start loading like so. Then the demonstrator will open up like this. I'm just gonna make it a bit bigger so it's easy to see. Just like that. Go ahead and press import video in the top right here. And go ahead and select your clips. Now if your clips are in a different format and it's not AVI, just go ahead down here and select whatever format it is. So I have MP4 clips, so just go ahead and select that. And there are my clips again, and then import them. You have to do these one by one. All right, over here in this section, it will say false and then also true. What we have to do is actually wait for it to say true. That way it's finished converting into uh, Datamod Studio. Once it says true, that means we can start creating the effect. So first up, just go ahead and select a clip. This is a preview of it like that. Go down to this add tab here and go ahead and set the ending frame to whatever it says here or wherever you want the um, clip to end. So I'm just gonna put 59 because that's the end of the clip like so, and then press insert. Now it's in the timeline down here, which is what we want. And go ahead and then select your second clip and then just play it like so. Wait till you get the last frame. In this case, it is 29. I'm just going to set 29 here. And then what we need to do is check the box saying delete iframes right here, and then press insert. And once we have that done, we can go ahead and select for beginning iframe. Select your first clip, like so. So mine's called test one, like that. Go ahead to export and press export, or just control O. Wait for it to, say, wait for it to be finished, like so. And then we can go ahead and play it. And there is the data mosh effect. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And uh, now if you want to render this clip out, all you have to do is press copy to and just save it to somewhere. So I'm just gonna call mine finish like that. And uh, there we have it, we have the clip right here. Let me just start it, play it like that. And there we go, there is the data mosh effect, uh, which is uh, pretty cool. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Hopefully you found it helpful. Um, thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next tutorial.